Hi, it's Dwyer. It is June the 14th, 2020. Let's talk NFL football. Let's talk about a bet I like on who's going to win the AFC East. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, right now, the NFC East, a division that New England has dominated for several years, right? The last few years, in fact, most of the Tom Brady tenure in New England, right? This year, the Buffalo Bills are favored. They're a plus 125. The New England Patriots are a plus 130. The Jets are a plus 700. The Miami Dolphins are a plus 800. Now, let's just talk about our betting philosophy. I greatly prefer, because of the leverage involved, taking teams to win the whole thing, not just divisions, but the whole thing, because you get much better odds and you can hedge. You take a team to win the whole thing, they make the playoffs. Depending on the odds you've gotten, you can then start betting on their opponents. So if an upset happens, you're still alive. Right? You can start playing different scenarios based on the teams in the playoffs and who has a buy and who doesn't. So the Kansas City Chiefs, for example, to win the AFC West are a minus 450. Right? Bet $450 to win a hundred. They're a minus four fifty. But to win the whole thing, you're getting a plus six hundred. Bet a hundred to win six hundred. I'd rather the latter than the former. I like getting leverage. Right? So it's only when you have teams that you question whether or not they're going to win the whole thing, that you start fooling around with who wins the division. And it's only when you're getting better than even money odds. So, let's take a look at the AFC East. I think only two teams can win this division. The Bills or the Patriots. That's how I see it. Keep in mind, both teams made the playoffs last year. But, as we look more closely, I have a problem with Buffalo. Understand, Buffalo was offensively starved last year. So, of course, they've decided that they, they're going to give up picks in a wide receiver rich draft. They decided to give up picks to get Minnesota's Stephon Diggs. So it's a little bit stunning, folks, because understand what they gave up to get Stefan Diggs. They gave up a first, a fifth, and a sixth round pick this year. In addition, they gave up a fourth round pick next year to get Stefan Diggs. So this year, you don't have three young bodies who would have been on the team, right? You don't have the first round pick this year. And of course, next year, you're not going to have the fourth round pick. Stefan Diggs is a guy who wasn't happy on a loaded Minnesota Viking team. People need to think about this guy's personality. He was upset that Kirk Cousins wasn't throwing him the ball enough. Are you so sure that Josh Allen is an upgrade on Kirk Cousins? Understand, guys with difficult personalities in one setting, when they're better off than most, Weren't the Vikings one of the most talent-laden teams in the league? 
You had talent all over the place in Minnesota. Stefan Diggs wasn't happy there. Now he's joining a team that has a quarterback that has had some problems. Understand, Josh Allen was 27th in passing yards last year. 27th. The knock on Josh Allen is that he's inaccurate. He tries to throw the ball to you. He just can't find you with the football. So, as I look at Stefan Diggs moving to a new team, he's somehow going to fit in with a young quarterback who at times has a problem finding wide receivers. And this is the year after Stefan Diggs complained about Kirk Cousins not finding wide receivers. I'm surprised that this situation is getting the shortest odds from casinos. The Bills right now are mild favorites to win the AFC East. Should they be? I think not. I know a lot of people are nervous. Tom Brady, 43-year-old Tom Brady, has moved on to Tampa Bay. But understand, defensively, according to footballoutsiders.com and their DVOA analysis, defensively, Bill Belichick had the best defense in the National Football League last year. Right? The Patriots were the best. Stephon Gilmore is that rare shutdown corner. Put differently, the Patriot defense last year, according to Pro Football Outsiders, was ranked higher than Buffalo's defense. Let's go further. The Patriot offense last year was ranked higher than Buffalo's offense. Dare I say, too, in this league, I'm going to rank Bill Belichick. A guy who's been to more Super Bowls himself than most teams in their entire history. Over Buffalo's head coach. As gifted as he is. So, let me just point out too, in terms of total DVOA, understand that pro football outsiders only has one team as having done better than the Patriots last year statistically. And that's the one seed in the AFC from last year, the Baltimore Ravens. Understand how good the Patriots were, and we forget the Patriots won 12 games last year. Right? They won 12 games last year. Even counting the loss in the playoffs, they ended the season 12-5. and five. Understand Football Outsiders has the Patriots last year finishing with a better statistical profile than the Kansas City Chiefs, who they rank third. Then the New Orleans Saints, who they ranked fourth. Then the San Francisco 49ers, who finished fifth. In other words, you have a great coach with a great defense. Now, Jared Stidham has a stronger arm than Tom Brady. Understand, Belichick will be able to throw a deep ball this year with Jared Stidham that he couldn't throw last year with Tom Brady. I can tell you that Jared Stidham put up great numbers, look it up, in last year's preseason. He looked better than the quarterbacks drafted ahead of him in last year's preseason. This is a rising talent coming out of high school. Jared Stidham was very 
highly regarded. He has the physical tools. So, like Pat Mahomes, his first year in Kansas City. Stidham spent the majority of his first year on the bench. Mahomes played in the last game of the season his first year. But understand, right? Stidham was there soaking in knowledge from Belichick and Brady and Josh McDaniel. Josh McDaniels, one of the league's better offensive coordinators. By the way, Belichick's back. McDaniels is back. There's continuity many of these other teams don't have with the Patriots coaching-wise on the offensive side of the football. I think Jared Stidham is going to do just fine. Let's remember, Belichick was able to get double-digit wins out of Matt Castle. Right, and let's be clear here, too. Stidham is inheriting statistically a better offense than the Bills and the league's best defense. So you're getting the Patriots at longer odds than the Buffalo Bills. You're getting the Patriots at a plus 130. A plus 130 to once again win an AFC Eastern division that they have dominated. I like this play. I think the public is overlooking Belichick's defense. It's elite. I think the public is overlooking Belichick's coaching. The culture that's been put in place in New England. The fact that Stefan Gilmore might be the best defensive player in the league and he's still on the team. I like the Patriots to win the AFC East at the plus 130. You're getting a 12-win team from last year and you're getting them at better than even money just to win the division. Contrast that with the Chiefs, where you have to pay a minus 450 just to have them to win their division. Right? And that's with guys like Phillip Rivers having left the division. Right here, the chief adversary for the Patriots are the Bills with Josh Allen. Right? A quarterback who finished in the bottom quarter, passing yards, of all quarterbacks last year. Right? Maybe Stephon Diggs will be on his best behavior. It's a change for Stephon Diggs. When volatile personalities enter the locker room, sometimes they light a fire under the uh, uh, other guys. Sometimes they burn down the whole place. I like the Patriots. I consider this to be one of the better plays, just given the pedigree, given the experience this team has, the expectation this team has of winning the AFC East. The defense is still there. Right? The young quarterback, when he played in the preseason last year, looked like he might be elite. The playbook is going to consist of more than crossing patterns to Julian Edelman. Right now, the Patriots will have an opportunity to stretch the field. I like the Patriots to win the AFC East right now on June the 14th. You're getting them at a plus 130. Don't wait for preseason games to start because if Josh Allen looks inaccurate in the preseason... If it looks like he can't connect with Stefan Diggs, something the line seems to assume is going to happen. These odds could switch quickly. Right? If Jared Stidham has the same preseason this year that he had last year, 
I would expect these odds to change dramatically. So I like the Patriots right here, a plus 130, to win the AFC East. Let me hear from you. If you have a take, if you believe that I'm being unfair to the Dolphins, who have a rookie quarterback coming off injury, right, or the Jets, who have their own <laughs> multitude of problems, then tell us about it in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.